if more people would look at their day and just literally think of like, what's one thing I can do today that would make me uncomfortable, that would make me nervous. Uh, it's one big thing that I'm, that I'm learning coaching with this uh, Navy SEAL is if you're proactively seeking worst case scenarios, then you'll never be faced with one. And if you know that, if you believe that, and if you can just trust that I'm telling you the truth in that, why not try it? And just try to pursue things that are uncomfortable. Try to pursue things that are new because the new and different and awkward and <laughs> unusual, those are the things that are always going to stretch you. And you will never truly know what you're capable of until you're stretched. You know, it's like if you're actively seeking ways to make things more difficult, then when the normal environmental and situational difficulties happen, they don't really seem that difficult, right? Like, and so, you know, whether it's looking at seal training as the ultimate example of that, like you can't, you can't succeed. You can't win. Like they're going to take every possible, like run from here to there. Well, when you get to there, they're just going to have you run over here. Then they're going to have you get in the water and then they're going to have you like they, they eliminate every possibility of succeeding just to see if you will continue to honor your word and do what you say you're going to do, even when there's no chance of succeeding or finishing or completing the task available. Like that's what that's all about. And so if you translate that to your life and look at like putting yourself in these uncomfortable positions where you can't succeed, you shouldn't be able to succeed. You shouldn't be able to win. You shouldn't be able to make it through it. And every time you get into those scenarios, regardless of the outcome, it strengthens you. So over the last five years, my business partners and I, we've, we've just been in this pursuit of seeking different ways to make ourselves uncomfortable. And some of those have been business related. Some of those have been personal, the, the cold showers, the you know, ice baths, the different things. Some of them are physical uh, with you know, exercise and, and things like that. But constantly searching for ways to get us out of our comfort zone. And to me, to answer your question, uh, Tim, the one thing that I, that I, seem, that I see as, as the most congruent, I think, outcome of those things is mental toughness. The level of mental toughness that I feel like I have gained from seeking extremely uncomfortable things to do, it, to this point, it's, it's almost like a, somewhat of a false sense of security to some degree, like talking about running 75 miles, you know, like that conversation with that person was like, oh, how in the world are you going to run 50 miles? How in, the, how in the world, like you're going to hurt yourself. Like you're physically, like, I don't know if you're capable of doing that. I'm like, well, I'm not really worried if I'm physically capable. Cause I know I'm mentally capable. I'm like, eh, <laughs> I don't know if that's okay. I'm like, oh, that's fine. Like, obviously like if I break my leg, I'm not going to continue running 20 more miles, but there's this, but from that first experience, like I did a, uh, ultra marathon, I did 29.7 mile run on 36 hours notice with zero training. And the furthest I'd ever run was 13 miles the weekend before just to see how 13 miles felt. And I was like, ah, screw it. We'll just do 30 and, and completed it. And then seven days later did another one. And it was like 31 point something miles. And by the end of that, like, dude, I felt like my mental strength at that point, like I, I literally felt like some, if someone told me like, Hey, um, I know this sucks, but you're gonna have to run to California today. I'm like, yeah, it's going to really suck. And it's not going to happen today, but all right, let's go. And just know that like you're mentally strong enough to get through it. Like you realize like there's literally nothing that you can't do if you're mentally strong enough that the physical side and even the, even the skill set required is not even that important if you're mentally strong enough. But I think so many people, they avoid discomfort. They avoid those, um, they avoid those uncomfortable situations and they're never able to stretch themselves to really know what they're capable of mentally. And I think that's a, that's a dangerous place to live. Like people think they're staying safe, but they're in the most danger when they're avoiding discomfort. And so when the discomfort of life went away 
because of the success, because of the work, because of the things that had happened in that journey, in that becoming a better version of yourself, and then becoming a better surrounding through the process, then I think that was the realization of like, oh crap, like I'm comfortable. Yeah. And now all of a sudden <clears throat> uncertainty was created not from discomfort, the uncertainty was created through the comfort. Through the comfort. Which is which is another paradigm shift. Yeah. And so then it was so then it became a process of how can I seek areas to make myself uncomfortable or to bring discomfort into my life that aren't just brought to me. Right. That I can actually go because again I think it's it's the action. It's understanding that it's all mental. Right. And like once you get past those things, you realize like what more you're capable of. And when you realize that it's literally like 90% mental, like you could tell me right now, like, hey, go run 40 miles. I'd be like, it's gonna suck, but okay. Because you realize that like mentally how strong you get. Yeah. You're like there's nothing physically you can't do. It's gonna suck. Yeah. It's gonna hurt but you're going to love that process. So like now, like we we're, I mean, we're searching for things that we can do that are uncomfortable that put us in pain because we know that there's pleasure on the other side of it. Well, that's what I love about, I know there's some guys I work out with, some are Marines, some are SEALs, man, mm -hmm. but just the, the mental capacity, the, the thought streams that come with them because the whole idea is to put them in situations where you'll break down. Yeah. Now they can't, they physically can't kill you out mm -hmm. there, but they're going to do everything to break your will as yeah. much as possible. But if you seek, pain the world will deliver you pleasure but if you seek pleasure and if you seek comfort the world will deliver you pain and this is a moment of pain for me to be completely honest and transparent with you guys but by but by pursuing it and by embracing it and by seeing this moment of pain as an opportunity i promise you the world will deliver me pleasure the world will deliver me comfort and the world uh it's just it's just the way the world works. Um, and I want more people to realize that. I want more people to know that when they're going through a storm, that it is in that storm that they will become a better person, a bigger person, a different person, a tougher person. And that when they look back on that storm, six months from now, a year from now, three years from now, five years from now, they'll say, God, thank God that I went through that. For if I had not gone through that, I would not be the person that I am now.